guys, I'm Ari, and this is... Dave. Dave Rhea. Nice. Nice to meet you. And Dave is, uh, is one of our two lead engineers here. And so he's somebody that, that you don't see very often on camera or doing the screencasts or he doesn't even write the blog typically, but he's very active behind the scenes and he's probably one of the best uh, engineering teachers you'll ever meet. So I'm going to ask, oh, you're welcome. I'm going to ask Dave a few questions about um, the vinyl, how we're going to apply vinyl to the vehicle, why we're using vinyl instead of using paint. And this is a, a really appropriate time since we're just finishing up the very first custom car skins competition. Thanks, yeah. Eric. Well, uh, some of the things are we want to really make things unique and, and make these vehicles able to be customized to some yeah. of the customers' desires and demands. And, yeah. uh, um, and one feature certainly is, is being able to design your own exterior. Whether I mean, you could simply put your pictures of your family on the exotic car if you really wanted to. Yeah. Um, but a uh, you know, fully customized exterior um, vehicle with, with detail um, is one thing. Also. Um, the environmental concerns with uh, setting up a whole ma a manufacturing facility that has to do um, meet all the requirements with atomizing paints and chemicals into the air. And, um, it's difficult and, and uh, costly, mm -hmm. um, and it's costly to the environment certainly. And can we can we talk about that for just a minute? The whenever you talk about paint, the the harmful um, effects of using paint versus whatever effects of using vinyl. Can you talk a little bit more about uh, why it's better to use vinyl as opposed to paint? Well, one, the vinyl is, is generally um, created from a, a pre-made paper that doesn't have um, the same, it's, uh, I don't know all the details of, all, of the way the vinyl is made, okay. but it's not um, basically being uh, atomized and put it out into the environment. Right. Um, and even even there, and some there will be some recapturing systems that can take the chemicals out, you know, out of the air as best as possible, but um, they're still um, being produced, um, and it's much, it's much, they're much more harsh to the environment than generally making these um, this paper material. Okay. Um, also, the the, the color um, is is basically just like an applied, just like your inkjet printer. It basically, you know, sprays in, in a printer in a very, mm -hmm. you know, at a very small distance onto the paper. Do you want to come see this? So um, you're basically not getting um, atomized ink or, or paints of any sort okay. sprayed out through the air, and, and the um, the chemical dang the danger to the environment with with automotive paint versus um, you know ink is, is uh, you know it's much much better the ink much better. Um, the um, other thing is this this is extremely thin. Oh, okay. So compared to to the layers of paint that are used, um, they have, they're, they have Basically, sealers, primers, and different stages. Just less material. Paint. In there's, there's less altogether. Um, and that's so why it's also lighter weight. Yes. Which can help make the vehicle more efficient. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Um, so, um, those are some of the features. The um, Some drawbacks are that you, you're not going to get an extremely deep, you know, metallic flake okay. uh, to, uh, that you see on some cars. Okay. Um, but um, some of that can be um, mimicked. Okay. Um, so, and there are different options in terms of what types of vinyl we can use. And this one has ended up to be the chosen favorite so far at Local Motors because of the environmental benefits and because of the cost benefits and the weight reduction benefits. Um, but if, if the community wanted a different option, why would they opt for something like this as opposed to something like this? Well, this is, a, this is another type of... Type of uh, vinyl wrapping, it's basically, um, it is automotive paint sprayed right onto the vinyl. Okay. Like it has some additives that allow the paint to flex and not flake, so okay. it gives you the full deep metallic flake. It really, literally has clear coat sprayed right on top of it, okay. but they are still um, putting that, those chemicals you know, out and, and into the air um, and producing them in the first place. Um, so there are st there is still some you know, negatives to the environment. Right. With this, in a similar way to paint. However, it is still much thinner, and it uh, it's thinner than paint. Thinner, much thinner than a regular automotive paint on a car, yeah. as well as the it does. This doesn't require primers and some of the other layers that are uh, applied uh, to a, to a vehicle, and, and as well as the preparing all, all the, the metals and um, to be ready to paint. Okay. Um, this basically doesn't require all that. And since we don't have our vehicle doesn't have a, a steel body, 
it's not going to rust and this is a composite carbon fiber uh, body so um, you don't have to go through the, the preparation process use the same chemicals and things to prepare the metal to be coated okay. it's uh, just in a state present state it is um, able to be um, wrapped directly as it comes out of this mold out of the molds okay so easy so yeah. so so we're applying the vinyl in pieces as opposed to coating the whole vehicle. Um, that, that's, that brings Correct. us to another point. What is the process of applying the vinyl to the vehicle? Well, it's basically just like putting a sticker on. And some people, if they've ever done maybe a tinted windows or some vehicles have a clear, um, clear layer of, of um, a film on the front of their vehicles just to protect from rock chips and uh, debris. Mm -hmm. uh, it applies just like that. You basically sp spray down some mildly uh, soapy water and you put the sticker on it and the soapy water l allows you to move the sticker around mm -hmm. and or the decal or the vinyl and then you can take a squeegee and basically drag it along the surface I don't have one right here but you would drag it as if this was this was actually one applied right here a, a metallic flake one and you can actually drag and, and the bubbles and the soapy water come out the sides um, and you can use a little heat gun if you need to give give it a little bit more flexibility to get around some tight corners in some cases, but it has a pretty significant ability to wrap around uh, to pretty detailed corners. Um, it looks just like paint. Yeah, like this This right here is a painted surface, and this is the uh, painted vinyl decal that was applied after the fact, just like the green the green film I had in my hand. So um, you can you can get a you know, very similar look. You can actually buff this and, and uh, polish it. Um, the the um, because it basically is, is a paint um, itself. So again, this, this is something that's more of a premium mm -hmm. and uh, um, can get that metallic flake, but it's um, not as, as great for the environment. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And, uh, and this one is also more customizable, the, the one that's a bit thinner, less harmful for the environment, Correct. and a bit less expensive is also more um, customizable. So Correct. it has multiple benefits. Correct. That's great. Uh, and, and they're they're uh, basically going to kind of maintain their their color. They're guaranteed for five years. I was just going to ask you that. So um, both of these are guaranteed for five years. Yes. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Well, you had mentioned briefly uh, that the vinyl is is made appropriately for the carbon fibers or the composites that we're going to be using. So I think for the next episode with Dave, we should talk about composites. Uh, do we have that piece of composite laying around here? Right here we have a piece yeah. of the forged carbon fiber. That's so uh, let's not dig into it this time. But Dave is an expert on composites, so we'll talk about that in the next round. Thank you. That's good. Cool. See you later, guys.